Good morning, folks. Let's jump right into energy from space. In the gamma range, we took one burst this morning from a source in the Leo constellation. In the X-ray and extreme ultraviolet range, solar flaring was dropping yet again. There were simply no active sunspots to speak of, no real new CME concerns. In fact, the incoming coronal hole and plasma filament snaking around behind him present our top space weather watches at our star. Coronal holes look fairly powerful on ISWA. However, we've got alerts right here at Earth. After yet another day of solar wind indicative of the coming solar grand minimum, wild density bulges as the slow moving particles bunch up against each other. And of even greater concern, we've slipped into geomagnetic storm. Folks, this is now twice in a row we've seen storm conditions produced with utterly puny space weather. One cannot help but worry about Earth's magnetic shield as this is uncharacteristic for our planet. If you missed last night's news, we introduced a potential star water breakthrough. We've seen water on brown dwarfs before, but this close to Earth? Oh me, oh my, that's fun. Got some good links for you as well, NASA article on stellar birth, and yet another from the ESA on the death of a star. Let's get back down to Earth where the United States and Canada have plenty of forest fires, but the blaze in Portugal is getting less attention. It is raging quite significantly, often even blocking out the sun. We've also got a brand new sinkhole in the UK. This Durham opening is growing by the second, we're told. The Iceland volcanoes aren't slipping out of our minds either. Cracks in the ice emerge right above the volcano on watch as the five magnitude rumbles continue on the North Atlantic island. This tremor actually rang one meter in the six range and that's as high as we've seen. We also had a tremor in the West Pacific hit six range on one meter but the official magnitude will be set lower. That area is in uptick and Guatemala got into the mix this morning as well. Concerns in the Gulf of Mexico about this system getting its act together and forming a tropical storm. It'd be right on the coastline if it happened. Anyway, we've got Marie in the Pacific fading as she runs west. Cristobal in the east heading for Europe and with a number of sublows to her east that looks suspiciously like what we saw in the Pacific two weeks ago, isn't it? Got a low in the central U.S. and a continued flow northward beyond it. While the flash flooding is kept on the eastern convergence of the low, the storms throughout this larger area will not be light, as I found out in Alberta, Canada last night and this morning. In Europe, the land low has shifted east a bit while the North Atlantic low actually stood firm yet again. You see the large storm swath expected in the east with only the western portions of the North Islands taking worse weather. Going to be a lighter one down under with all lows offshore. Finally, we uploaded our next special edition video to suspiciousobservers.org last night. It is under the Electric Earth and Sun section and describes our recent discovery of statistical correlations between the solar polar fields and large earthquakes. Before our paper comes out, we thought we'd do some background, explanation, and of course, animations from Xavier Thunders. Global storm watches follow along with shots of our star to close. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.40 a.m. Local Time. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.